19-year-old Pacey Dumas copes with a serious head injury, allegedly caused by an Edmonton police officer's kick to his skull. My head was just like hurting real bad, like, like a throbbing kind of pain. The trouble began last December when police responded to a disturbance complaint. According to the province's police watchdog, officers were told there was a fight and that one person was armed with a knife. Pacey and his older brother were living nearby with their mother. They went outside to talk to the officers and ended up face down on the ground. Well, those officers thought like he was trying to do something, I guess, and they just didn't hesitate and just kicked him in the head there. I would be hard pressed to understand what police training would ever advocate kicking someone in the head to, to get them under control when they're already lying on the ground. Pacey had emergency surgery to relieve pressure from his swelling brain. Now he's waiting for more surgery. A metal plate must be inserted to protect his caved-in skull. I don't know why I had to go through this, with what they did to me. His lawyer says race may have been a factor. If they had not been Indigenous, if it had not been in a community that is perhaps underprivileged, I believe the police would have perhaps made better judgment calls as to the way they handled the situation. The constable who allegedly delivered the kick remains on active duty, but no longer on the front lines. This criminologist thinks there should be more action. It does not inspire confidence in the public. Uh, I believe that at the minimum, there should have been some sort of um, uh, leave of absence. Meanwhile, Pacey Dumas continues to live every day with the pain and trauma of missing a piece of his skull. Janice Johnson, CBC News, Edmonton.